Schmidt and Rose Slater of the group Messy Fingers International Artist here in Freimann at the Moor Villa in Munich, Germany. Thank you for being my guest. And thank you for having thank us. Thank you for being my guest, Rose. Thank you for having us, Stephanie. Um, Rose, tell me a little bit about the exhibit here at the Moor Villa. The exhibit at the Moor Villa is the Rainbow Tree. It started June 6th and will be active until June 26th. Okay, you're, you're 10 artists, and between each of you, you have at least eight pieces that you're exhibiting? That's correct. Each artist has approximately eight pieces of work, so in all, there will be about 80 pieces for people to view. Wonderful. And I saw that um, there's paintings, there's sculptures, there's photography, um, some mixed media, even one of the sculptures, there's it's a lamp, beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, why don't we now go have a look at uh, personally some of the pieces that you did so that um, people can see just how beautiful and uh, talented you are. We do that, yeah. Now we're here with two of Rose's paintings, uh, Grass and Kimsey. And um, Rose, can you tell me what inspired you to do Grass? Grass, I wanted to do a painting in green. And it was more of an experimental in how to mix colors. And I mixed several colors from three colors, like about six or seven shades. Wow, of six, green. six or seven shades of green. That's nature. And, and it's oil. Wow, beautiful. And the one for Kimsey? Kimsey, I used a krill, and the inspiration I got was a boat fart out to Kimsey, and there was a museum, and there was mainly paintings of flowers. And this is what inspired me to paint Kimsey. Beautiful. Normally, um, artists, they are very creative people and their inspiration comes at different times. Is there any time when your inspiration hits you where you just drop everything and you go and paint? Night times are very good. Okay, that's when your some of my best ideas came. And um, also in my atelier, I fulfill my dreams or a sketchbook. I have sketchbooks all over the place. And um, I also like doing drawings. Um, is there, do you have any rituals? Do you paint nude or anything like that? No, I paint normal. <laughs> she paints normal? In my jeans. And every time you see me at some place, I always have paint on my clothes. Um, you have two. These are two of the six other paintings that you're exhibiting here. Is there a price or do... do uh, is it just negotiable or? It's, you can give me a call and then we can talk about it. <laughs> okay, so people, they're beautiful paintings. Um, prices are negotiable, you can talk about it. These are two paintings from Rose Slater, Grass, and Kimsey. Now I'm here with Annie Schmidt and two of her oil paintings. One is The Brave New World 2 and Kukuni. Um Annie, what inspired you for the Brave New World too? It kind of reminds me a little bit of a of a mantra, but you said it's it's the world. What what inspired you for this one? Uh, inspiration comes. A lot of my paintings come from uh, environmental issues. And um, Brave New World is because of all the things that are happening in the world, with its floods, droughts, eruptions, and the world is just spinning around you. You never know what's going to come out of it, and this and you have to be brave. It's and that's why I Brave New World 2, because I already have a Brave New World 1. Beautiful. And cocooning here? And cocooning, um, that is the butterfly coming out of a cocoon, and the message behind that is, it's a new life, it's like birth, a new life, a new chance. Uh, so, all in all, very positive. Wow. That's life. It's, um, I, in comparison to the pieces that Rose is doing, both of you have this connection to nature very, very close, but you show totally different aspects of it. I find that to be very, very wonderful, and just how wonderful you complement each other. Well, thank you very much, because that is a compliment. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Do you have like an artist who has inspired you? Um, <clears throat> artist as such, I would say my father. He also painted, he was just painting watercolors though, but he was he only paints landscapes, and I'm a bit more abstract in what I do. But I would say he was the first inspiration for me as a child. And do you have any painting rituals or any time of day or night that you paint? Or? 
Actually, I prefer painting day with daylight than in the evening. I have also painted in the evening, but I, my preference is daylight. Um, would you say, if you could pick from any of the colors that you've painted with, which one color, if someone gave you one color to paint with, which would that be? Blue. Blue. Well, it's beautiful, and congratulations Thank on you. your paintings, and I hope you were able to sell tons. This is just beautiful. So do I. <laughs> so yeah. do we all. <laughs> <laughs> here, we're here with Annie here once again with her new Brave World and Cocooning, two of the eight pieces that she's showing here at the Moor Villa. Thank you, Annie. Thank you. I know I enjoyed myself today with Anne and with Rose, um, looking at some beautiful art and um, learning just a little bit more about nature and how nature and art comes together. Um, I want to say that they're going to be here at the Moor Villa until the 26th of June. So if you have time and you're in Munich on vacation or you're just in Munich, stop by. They'll also be at the 17th Moussaka Stadtteil Kulturtage and they will be there on weekends in July. That will be the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, the 12th, and the 13th. They will only be four members. Four, four members of the group Messy Fingers, all women. Um, there will be paintings and sculptures. Thank you for tuning in again to Stephanie's International Chat Show, and um, we'll see you for the next one. Bye.